loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on a full face of makeup using my favorite affordable products from 2020. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm just gonna do a look for you all, this look, using all of the products that I used in 2020 that were my favorite. These are products, uh, some of them are released in 2020, others are just products that I went to over and over and over again, some even over some of my higher end makeup. So if you're still interested, then let's just get into the look. All right, so let's go ahead and get this party started and as you can see I don't have on my brow so I've been loving this wet and wild retractable brow pencil and it looks like this I'm sure you all are all familiar with it and it does have of course the tip that you do your brows with and on the other end it has a spoolie and what I've been liking about this particular brow pencil is that it doesn't tug and it glides on very well to me and basically when I do some of my more I guess simple looks you know I'll just do the tail end like that and then just lightly fill in the front. And then I'll also use my e.l.f. eyeshadow kit. Looks like this. And this is the one where you have the gel and the powder. And it looks like this. It's pretty dark as you can see. And you do get a mirror right there. And so what I like to do next is just lightly draw in some hairs at the front and just like so. And that's pretty much it. I'll use this same powder to set what I did and I'm gonna go ahead and do that, okay? And as simple as that. And then I'm gonna carve out my brows next, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this brow first. All right, so now that I have that on, I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows. I know it looks messy, but after I carve them out, they will look so much better. And I'm just gonna use this uh, concealer by ColourPop. This is their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And this is it right here. I like it because it serves as a really good base and it's not too drying. This is the Doe Foot right here. And the shade in this is Medium uh, 10W. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my brows. All right, so I got my brows all carved out and I think I'm not going to set it and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my eyeshadow. The brand of eyeshadow palettes that I've really been enjoying for the year and that are my favorite are these Pro LA Girl palettes. And as you can see, I have three. I think I'm gonna go with the Artistry palette. And again, this is it. And here are the shades. So these bigger Pro palettes by LA girl are really good. I think that the price is awesome. I think that the the packaging, the really nice um, sturdy packaging and you get a really nice mirror for the money. And I think that the eyeshadows perform really well. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and put it on my brow bone. All right, and the next shade that I'm going to go in with is my crease shade, and I think I'm gonna use this one. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my shadow and just place it right here in the crease and bring it over just a little bit like so. And right up above that crease color, I'm gonna use this orange shade and I'm just gonna place it over that brown like so. Place it over just like that, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush next and just buff that out really lightly. Don't need a heavy hand. Okay, and now with the same brush that I just blended that out with, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use this shade right here. All 
All right, now I'm gonna go in with this darkest brown. And I'm gonna use a pointy brush like this because I wanna get deep into the crease. And I'm gonna put that right there just to see if I can deepen it up a little bit. There is a black in here, but I don't want it to be that deep. So just enough to add a little bit more dimension and depth. Uh, I'm just going to put this shade all over my lid and this is it right here. And now that I have that applied, I'm going to go in with a really thin brush and blend the crease out because I don't want it to look like a cut crease. I want it to be softer. So I'm just going to blend the edges out. All right, so now that I've got that applied, I'm going to use my hands down favorite uh, affordable eyeliner and this is the wet and wild mega glam skinny tip eyeliner this is it right here and look how thin that is so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply a thin line and then now that i have that applied i'm gonna go in with this black right here and go over that line and i like to do that because i like for it to be as black as possible so Let's go ahead and do that. And now I have an e.l.f. mascara. Really affordable and cheap. And I particularly like the wand on this. So even though I'm going to wear lashes, I'm still going to go ahead and apply this because it just helps your lashes stick better. All right, and I'm gonna do my lower lash line after I have my complexion. But next I'm going to apply my eyelashes and my favorite affordable eyelashes are the Russian Volume by Kiss Lashes. Look at these, aren't they pretty? And my favorite lash glue to use when I don't want my lashes to go anywhere <laughs> are these eye glue premium strip lash adhesive. Let me tell you, you all use these and your lashes are not going anywhere. So anyway, I'm going to do my other eye and apply my lashes and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back with my eyes completed. And the only thing that I did differently is I tried to make the um, metallic eyeshadow a little bit more foiled, um, the shade that I have on my lid, and I brought it up just a little bit, as you can see. All right, so I got that done. <clears throat> now we go into the complexion. And for sunscreen, I'm gonna use this Unsun Face Sunscreen. This has been a favorite of mine, and I like it because it's tinted. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face. All right, so I got that applied, and now I'm gonna use my favorite foundation, Milani foundation this is one of this has been my favorite this is the screen queen i did a full uh video on this here's the foundation here i'm gonna go ahead and apply it and because my lips are so pigmented i'm gonna put a little bit on them as well because i'm gonna wear a nude lipstick and even though it is very pigmented i still like to have my lip to be an even tone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And I feel as though this goes on really well. It does last well on my skin, but I do need to tell you that I have pretty normal skin uh, combination. I might get a little oily in my T-zone. All right, so next I'm going to use this same foundation to carve out my brows on the top. And I just like to use the same shade as my foundation because it helps to not get that halo eye type of look. And so now that I got it all carved out, I'm gonna go back over that with my brush right here at the top. 
and come down right here to kind of smooth that out some. And then for the inner part of my eye, I'm going to use this brush by Real Techniques. It's like a finger brush where it mimics your finger and I'm just going to blend that foundation in right there to make sure it's all blended in. All right, so now that I have that applied, I'm gonna use this cream contour palette by Elle. The outer packaging looks like this and I'm sorry that it's so filthy. And these are the shades. I'm gonna use that darkest shade and I'm gonna be kind of heavy with it because I'm extra when it comes to this part. <laughs> I mean, I just kind of love layering it on and I am taking it in my hairline a little bit because I'm trying to avoid having that little line. Although it's only so far that I can go or want to go into my hair with this. And I typically don't do the contour on my nose and all of that. I just kind of achieve that with the concealer. Cause once you put the concealer on and you have that light and then when you uh, apply your bronzer on uh, to set your contour, that's about as much as I'm gonna do with my nose. All right, now for concealer. My hands down favorite has been this Radiant Cream Concealer by Neutrogena, and this has peptides and antioxidants. And I do like the fact, again, that it has antioxidants in it and peptides. And it looks like a lot, I know, I know. But I'm comfortable with putting this much on because of the ingredients that this concealer has. So again, it's not drying. It's going to not leave your eyes dried out and it's going to provide some good ingredients for you while you're wearing it. And I don't do my forehead, as you can see, I don't do the lightening of my forehead. I used to, but not so much anymore. So my hands down favorite, okay, and don't side eye me, but you're gonna see how good this is. It's the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. So I'm just gonna show you how much I like it. This year, this is how much, this is year, this is how much I've used of this product. So I had to go and buy me a, a fresh new one. And this particular powder, the light powder, literally melts into your skin. It doesn't, it doesn't settle into fine lines and it's just really, really pretty. I can't get this open. All right, I got it open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wet sponge and just dip it into the lighter side like this. And then I'm just going to apply it. Just like this. And look how it just melts into the skin. I'm gonna bring it down here and right here. All right, so now that I have my highlight set, I'm gonna go back in with my eyeshadow palette and just to have uh, make it a little bit of fun, I think I will use a blue on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use this blue just to make it a little fun. All right, so I got that applied. Now I'm going to um, add some powder and I'm gonna use this uh, Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. So for bronzer, these Morphe Glam Bronzers have been my absolute favorite this year and I have two shades, one in liter and one in phenome. Let me show them both to you. This one, this one is liter and this one is phenome. But I'm gonna use the lighter one which is in phenome right here. And these bronzers are so nice, so pigmented. And put a little on my nose and come around here. All right, so now that I have that done, I'm gonna use some blush. And this is the Physicians Formula Shimmering Rose All Day Petal Glow. And this is um, pretty much serves as a highlight and blush. I'm just gonna put it there and a little bit right there. So y'all see that? Look at that. 
And then I'm going to use my Milani highlighter right here and on my nose right there. All right, and we are in the home stretch, people. All right, so we're gonna do a nude lip. You all know I like the nude lips. I'm gonna use this liquid lipstick in True Story. This is by Morphe. And if you're into nudes, you have got to try this. All right, now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go over it with a gloss. The gloss that I have is this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. These are so nice, so nice. So I'm just gonna add this, and this is in the shade Crystal. And look at that, isn't that pretty? Now I am going to, this next step that I'm gonna do, not, you know, you don't have to do it, but I like sharpening up my, um, but I like sharpening up my contour right here. So I'm going to take a sponge and add powder on it. And I'm just going to cut this out, carve this out. So I got that carved out and then I just wipe it away with a brush, a powder brush. I'm just gonna use this big fluffy brush and then wipe it away. And then for setting spray, I have a Radiant setting spray. Uh, this is their Healthy Skin Edition. This is another one of their products that has peptides in it and looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead. So this is it. This is my full face using all of my favorites of 2020. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, if you like any of these products, let me know down below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.